I just want to say peace and love. Peace, bro. peace, like, God. How you feeling? I know, I know you. Like, and it was one day I was going through the same thing, kind of like you, just life. And I was going through my YouTube, I promise you, and I seen the short that you had. And in that little bit of time, you said something so real that it took a little small hole and just opened up everything. So when I listened to your, your interview, I was just like, dang, this man come from where we at and he's so sharp with it. And so as I got more into the interview, it just gave me hope. Like, you don't know, just your words sometimes are just your truth, your realness can take people so far and you can change their life. Oh, just man. in that little bit of time, like, man, I've given up eating red meat. I've given up sodas, all that, for the health of my body. Because everything that you said, you just never seen anyone that would tell us the truth like that, you know? Oh, and I tell people a lot of times, like, with our parents, they came up in the era where the socialism was just, you know, to get out of slavery you know, still dealing with racial profiling and things. That's why they told us to get, you know, go get a house, go get a job, and that was it. But as life progressed, we seen a lot of other things in life that can be our motivation. Sometimes bad situations could be our motivation as far as like parents on drugs, family members on drugs. And then you have a way of saying, you know, I don't want to be like that. Yeah. And it's sad that those are things that we have to go through. There are different steps and different stages that we're going through in life that you felt me with in so many ways, like gave up the block for real, for real. Oh, Brandon. You know what I'm saying? Just listening to your story because I just buried my mom like two, three weeks ago. All right, moment of silence for your mama real quick, man. Ashe. Ashe. It's deep. And um, the story, like quick story about her, she had two major strokes in 2016. She fell from the top of the stairs and bled on the floor for like four hours. Sorry to hear that, God. But the thing I'm telling you is we went to the hospital. She was in a coma for a week, and we had three doctors coming in, PhDs, doctorates, and everything. I told her her life would be nothing but a vegetable. And so I don't know what it came across me. I don't know what power came across me, but it came across me. My whole family agreed to cut the cord, and I was the only one that didn't. We fell out. Three days after that, my mom woke up out of coma. Mm. And when that, and it was something still over me that hadn't finished his job. And they were like, we gotta hurry up, put a trade on her throat, da da da. Don't touch her. Two days after that, she started talking again. Saying all that, she made it another 10 years. Oh, praises, man. You see what I'm saying? Follow see the, the spirit. Yeah, the, 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 spirit. the spirit, the ancestors led me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And most people thought I would have been sad to lose her, but I got another 10 years of her knowledge and her wisdom to keep fighting. You know, if I had never seen a miracle in my life, I seen it then. Yeah. That gave me a whole nother outlook on life. Nobody can tell me nothing. I know what the final say so is. Yeah. Until I'm out of here, I know what the final say so. And when I ran across your video, it gave me more hope. It gave me more knowledge that people try to hide from us. Yeah. And that's the thing that I don't like. Like I search for knowledge. I don't, I don't search for riches. I search for greatness because I know with greatness, all that comes along. And I don't really want that. I want the greatness. I want a legacy. Yeah. I want to be able to educate those around me that grew up the same way that I do. I learned the other day, like, it's only like 20% of Americans that will pick up a book and read. Yeah, fact. And Malcolm X said the best. You want to hire someone from a black man, put it in a book. Yeah. So I, I vowed to never be one of those. Just everything that you, you talked about, you preached about from the botany, just things that they don't think people like me and you can do and can achieve. It's like you break it down barriers and it's a it's a goal for you and it's a win for you, but it's more of a win for all of us. Oh, praise Because you went through it, now you're giving us the way to get yeah, through it. Yeah, I ain't even doing it for me no more. I, I, you know what I'm saying? I done got what I can get from it. I'm literally doing it for us. So. It, and that's what I'm saying. Nobody has love for us no more. I was talking yesterday about the codes and how people don't even keep the codes of the street, the, the respect, you know what I'm saying? It, it was times that I, I remember growing up, there were guys on the block. Yeah, they might have been doing blocks, you know, but they had respect. They wasn't guiding us to do wrong. Mm -hmm. They were telling us to stay in school, telling us to do this. And you don't have that no more. Yeah. You know, we glorify rappers killing other rappers. You know, and how can we be mad when somebody else kills us? Yeah. That's how I look at it. Yeah. So, 
your knowledge and your wisdom, all your interviews, I done watched them. I mean, just from that one Tasha K interview, bro, I've been hooked. Like how you were hooked on Dr. Sebi, yeah. I've been hooked. And everything you drop, I'm right there behind it because I know you're not telling a lie. You see you know what I'm saying? Because you're not doing this to say, oh, I'm going to be this person. I know you're doing it because it's coming from the heart. No, straight from the heart. You know what I'm saying? And the ancestors and the energy and the vibrations, when you follow that, man, it's all going to be true. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I just want to tell you thank you. I appreciate because you. Because you done changed my life. I could have been one of these cats that got jammed up just the other day or the other week. But because you gave me that opening to show me, like, nah, bro, that ain't what it is. You know what I'm saying? No, I appreciate you, but I just want you to, uh, I want you to also, like, give yourself uh, credibility, too, because it was up to you to hear the information and download it and then apply it to your life to even see the change. I wouldn't there, I wouldn't there to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, all of the hard work is done after you hear the info. So, you know, it's you that's making the change. That's you. Yeah. As you, you, you utilizing the power and you are like testing the knowledge to make sure that it work and you finding out that it do work. And this knowledge ain't even mine, brother. You know what I'm saying? This knowledge is from the ancestors and before them, this knowledge is from their ancestors. So this is just passed down truth that I felt eager to share because I seen what it did to me and my family and I love my people enough. I want to see other families like my family and how we is. So I don't want to be the only person that's, that's the only person that's on top field, lonely as hell. Mm -hmm. I want everybody up. So imagine millions of us looking like us from where we from, come where we come from, unifying and unifying for positivity, you know, having our own currency, having our own homes, owning our own land, growing our own food. All the information is for that right there, but it got to start with this right here. So, you know what I'm saying? All power to me, like you said. I thank you for that, but all power to you because you taking the information and you applying it. Same thing you did when something told you not to pull a plug on your mother. That's that same power. So I get that you praising everybody, which is very humble of you, but you need to be praising yourself as well, brother. That's all I'm saying. And the thing about it is just like, I don't know, it's like a solid motivation. You know, I wouldn't call it, some people call it envy. It's just that I want to be, I want to have that knowledge like that. You get, you showed me true courage to go through that, through something that they tell us that we can't go through, to find knowledge that they said that we can't find. You broke that barrier. You gave courage to so many that come from the same cloth that you got. So, I mean, I praise myself, but I thank you for awakening, because sometimes it could be one simple thing to make you woke. To, to lead you down yeah, that path. Open up that rabbit hole. Yeah, you see what <laughs> I'm saying? Yeah. That rabbit hole. And it's crazy because, you know, we look at these celebrities, we look at all these big time people, and we look for the answer from them. But sometimes it's just right here in us. Yeah, them days old. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, we the new celebrities, brother. And that the, the thing about it is, like, I don't, I'm not looking to be a celebrity. I'm just looking to be real. I want to do for my people. I'm tired of, you know, being the one on the short end of the stick, feeling like this is how far I can come and this is how far I can go. I was watching a documentary the other day, and it was about mind manipulation. And the guy said, he said, you know, the perfect mind manipulation, he said, when, when the doctor came out, he said, you only use 20% of your brain. Uh -huh. He said, you could have been using 80% of your brain because you didn't do the research and find the knowledge for yourself. You believe that you're only using 20. Uh -huh. So sometimes... Man, man, Dave just had that very conversation. Yeah. And he was like, we only use a certain... I'm like, well, I don't believe that there it is. You know what I'm saying? I believe that that was taught to us. And there's certain things that we might be using way more. Who knows? But only thing we can do is make sure we get back to nature as much as possible. And when you restore your diet, you restore what you're drinking, you restore the way you're thinking, you're restoring the music that you're listening to, and you're restoring your, your relationships and your community, bro. Like... There is no limitation on, on our brain capacity and on what we can accomplish, bro. Not but it all starts from where we at right now. Like, we need more brothers having these type of conversations, bro, that look like us, that don't got to go put on a suit and tie, exactly. that can look like they look with their goatee, they tats, whatever they wear, they, they war wounds, and be proud about them and speak about why they had never go back to do what they did before. And I think that's what's going to really unify us, man. So And, and, and I believe so, is, and, and as well as this music. Like, I used to always wonder, like, as I got older, why I used to like to ride to the oldies. Al Green, Curtis yeah, Mayfield. You listening to that, right? There. I'm listening to that vibration. So, like, this within the whole is a dream to me. Because yeah. some people would never experience this. Yeah. To be able to, like, 
when I listened to this band, I was just getting out of the car and I was listening to this band. I felt the vibration. I was already dancing when I pulled up. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nothing but good energy, positive energy. Yeah. That's what I want in my life. You know, you can have all the money in the world, but you can't take it with you no. at the end of the day. Fact, you, fact. you know, you, you can. I was just telling one of my homeboys, I said, man, you know, let me show you the power of money. I say one thing I've learned about money, you get money to keep buying the same thing over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. No true value. Yeah. Everybody got it. Yeah. Every you know they burning it and printing it every day. Yeah. Use the same amount of ink, but our mind is tricked to this is what's important. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But chasing your greatness, the energy, following our ancestors, doing everything, feeling like we just got into a place where we feel like we have to depend on so many things, but in our years of living, we never did have to do that. I want to get back to that essence yeah. because we're getting lost in it. Our kids are getting lost in it. You know, I seen a a 14 year old kid the other day come up to the store, no shirt, slides on, basketball shorts, and a 40 on them. Yeah. Now, like, man, you ain't got no shirt, no socks, no nothing, but this is what they're showing us out here. Hey, go kill this person. This a op. This a op. When I was growing up, people never taught me that. Like, the guys that were on the corner, they never taught me that. Yeah, it just shows what we're missing in the black community. Our, our community is missing direction, man. And I just think, you know, the more and more this truth get out on bigger platforms, uh, grassroots, we door to door with it. A lot of us not being afraid to go into neighborhoods that they feel they ain't welcome welcome to, and actually speaking the truth will change a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. How how you say I changed you, I was changed by somebody else, and that somebody else that changed me was changed by somebody else, and that somebody else that changed them, that changed him, that changed me, that changed you, mm -hmm. was changed by somebody else. So. I just think that that word of mouth and speaking truth, not our truth, but speaking the truth, mm -hmm. is what's gonna really, really and do what's put out there. And I also think that we gotta stop. Everybody has to stop looking for validation from everybody else. Yeah, validation is within, man. Exactly. You know, you have every per everybody that they've been living their life the whole life by what everybody else consider fun or what everybody else consider cool. And then when you get in that position, it's like this ain't fun to me. This yeah. ain't cool to me. Why did I do it? We got to know ourselves. Yeah. You got to know thyself. Yep. You feel Knowledge what I'm saying? And, yeah. and a lot of people out here, they don't know thyself. They don't have enough courage to stand up for what they believe in. They don't have enough courage to say, hey, man, that's right and that's wrong. You know, they're all going to twist it for that little mighty dollar. But at the end of the day, you know, getting integrity back, character and all that, you can't get that back once you lose it mm -hmm. as a person. No, if okay. you, you, you know, so... You, Dane, this has just been a special opportunity for me. I, I promise you, you know, from a guy that came from nothing, and I didn't let the world tell me what I was going to be, and they wow. never tell me what I'm going to be. Wow. I'm striving for greatness and then to waking up and to move further to educate those that might look up to me, or I might be able to give a spoken word to change somebody else's life. Even You're doing if I right can't, now, God. You, you feel You're what I'm saying? Right like, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of dudes on my block, you know, now they, be, they come to me and they be like, hey, yo, you know what I'm saying, spit that what you were spitting the other day. Yeah. I mean, I walked up to these dudes the other day, I said, man, you 40 years old. I mean, like, at what point are you going to say, this ain't working for me? At what point are you going to create something for yourself and your family? We don't have people that even want to leave anything to their kids. We're not educating our kids on the things that we're building. So that's why when we grow up and we pass along, what, what you, the first thing they're going to do is just sell it. Yeah. They get the money, they look like a rapper, run through it. What is your legacy? What is it all that you put into all the work that you put in? What does it came to? Because we can attain all the wealth. We can attain the knowledge. But if we're not educating our kids, we're not educating the youth on which way to go, it's all for nothing. Man, I was in uh, biology class probably like two months ago, and uh, we were just studying the, 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 the fundamentals and the, basically just like the, the foundation of the purpose of a cell, and it blew my mind. The foundation and the purpose of a cell that creates an organism is to live out its life experiencing, to take all the information and pass it down to what it creates and give them that information for they can survive longer than it did. So <laughs> I, want you, I want you to see how deep yeah, this is. That's so, deep, man. So the whole purpose of an organism, any creature in life, it go through life and it, and it acquires all of this information and data by experiencing reality, and it goes into the genes expression of the microorganism. The microorganism then have to find a mate to reproduce, and once it reproduces, its whole thing is to pass down a genetic code to that actual to the actual being it created and to teach it to survive longer and better and thrive better and longer than it did. So our purpose is to create a better future 
for our children, bro. That's the real purpose of us, to experience, figure out all the mathematical equations, what we messed up in this life, how to make it easier and better, require that, download it in our DNA, and then make a replica of ourselves or who we call our children, and then put it in their genes, and then they supposed to live longer and do better. And then it made me look at our lives down. How, for one point in time, we was living to be 800 to 900 years old. Then we went down to 300. Then all of a sudden, we see in uh, 6,000 years ago, the Bible ages, they say 120. Mm -hmm. Now we ain't even living past 65 years old. So it was like we doing this backwards. We actually degrading our life expectancy instead of living longer and thriving and, and basically being happy while we're here. So, you know, probably like two days ago or three days ago, I had a revelation. I was visiting my bed by what I would call an ancient spirit. And uh, I was sitting in my bed, and the spirit came, and it, it smelt like sulfur. I'm in Miami. Crazy thing is, because they just said they seen some sightings of some crazy creatures. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've been Brickle, East Miami, in a hotel, and I had my my uh, hotel door open, pitch black at night, and I smelt sulfur. And I'm like, man, this smells, some, some smell demonic. And it wasn't a demonic entity. It was just a... It was like more of an angelic entity that creeped through my room, but I was so scared that my the hairs on my skin stood up, and I just sat up in my bed, and I looked at this thing, and it straight told me, your mission start now. And I was like, well, what's my mission? And this is exactly what this entity told me. It is time for you to gather your people and rebuild Eden. And this is exactly what you're talking about, a place where we grow in our own food a place where we police in our own neighborhoods, mm -hmm. a place where we create our own education based off of our own ecological system. You know, and I think once we get that powerhouse together and start creating that, that's going to be our home and that's what we leave to our children. So, I mean, I just think you told dude something super profound that's 40 years old, still on the block. What is your purpose? You're 40 years old, this ain't working for you what you leaving back for your children because the whole purpose of you in this life is to experience reality mm -hmm. and to create children and to give them that information for they can survive and thrive longer than you did for they can experience reality. And at the end of this big old game, we bring all of this information back to our higher selves or our higher consciousness, and that's how we expand through this evolutionary process that we call the universe in life, bro. You know, it's crazy that you said that because, um, like, couple years ago, I remember me and my friend, we were riding down to Miami, my homie. I'm going to keep it real with you, me and my homie. And so we used to always listen to these rappers, you know, State Prop, Bean, Beans was my guy. Yeah, State, yeah. And so we were always going down to Miami grabbing shit. And, for this, and every time we used to go to Miami, for some reason, my kidneys were hurt, you know, my back were hurt. But this one particular time we go down to Miami, I'm fine. You know, nothing's bothered me. Every time I ever went, it always bothered me. I was sick some type of way, but this time, nothing was wrong with me. So we tell the plug, hey, yo, just leave us with enough gas money. So here we are, 19 years old. We got like 25 pounds, a half a block, pills. He has no license. I'm on a suspended uh, sentence. Yeah, so we're making it back. But the crazy thing is, I knew my ancestors was with me that night because I fell asleep on the way back. And I had a dream that in that in just that little time i had a dream that the police were stopping us i woke up and i tell him hey stop stop turn around he like he look at me like i'm crazy like man whatever we're coming around the bend of these woods and we see the police flashing lights they got a roadblock for us we make a u-turn now we're going all crazy we're doing all kinds and he's like man he's what i've always learned under pressure you got to be calm because that's when you make the worst decisions when you, you're dramatic and he was like you know what you stay here with the work. I'm going to go check out the, the scene. I was scared, bro, because as soon as he turned back on the road, police got him. So now here I am, I'm back in the woods. I'm in people's neighborhoods. I go hide in a trailer. I'm so scared I fall asleep. I have a dream in like 30 minutes that the people woke up the next morning, captured me in there, and caught me and turned me into the police. I woke up. It's not true. So I'm like, dang, why am I having these dreams that's just basically telling me to go on, it's go on? Yeah. And so I, I walk like three miles. It's like 30 degrees outside. I probably got on something like this. And I was just at the point of almost giving up. I was like, man, I can't. In this little country town, they only had two stores, two stores, and neither one of them was open. Trying to do 1-800-COLLECT, nobody's answering. I get to the point, I'm just like, you know what, I give up, they gonna catch me. 
my girl come through and get me. I don't know how she know I'm back there. Wow. My girl come through and get me. And she like, yo, you, we gotta go back. I'm like, nah, nah, we gotta go get that work. But saying all that to say this, that day right there, I stopped going to Miami. You know what I'm saying? I learned right then and there, like, the risk, the reward wasn't worth the risk. Yeah. And it was like I had a message telling me, like, let me get you through this. But I ain't doing that no more. Yeah. Cause you know better. That's what spirit did to me. Spirit was just like, man, hey. You know, quit snoring cocaine, quit smoking all these cigarettes, quit drinking all this alcohol, you know what I'm saying? Quit gang banging, quit doing this, doing that. Didn't stop, boom, I end up getting locked up, going to prison. Me too. Get out, told me to stop again. Stop doing this, stop doing that. Didn't stop, had a heart attack. But the something about that heart attack, man, that heart attack changed my life, man. For the first time in my life, sitting on that hospital bed, looking at them doctors, it just made me look at my entire life differently. And I just know when it comes to people that's really, really done, it don't be no 12-step program, mm -mm. bro. We be done. <laughs> I pro like, I promise you, I used to be smoke weed all the time, and I went to prison. And, you know, everything was cool for the first three months. I said, all right, I'm going to be here for another three years. It's nothing. I have a dream one night that me being in prison was a dream. So in my dream, I'm free. Oh, me in prison, that was a dream. And then I wake up. Had to be one of the most disheartening things to me. Like, who could be so cruel? to make it seem like I'm out there free and I'm in here. So I went to the child hall, I couldn't even eat. Tears calling, crying down my eyes. Like, Can I go back to my dorm? Hey, go back to your dorm. I sit on my um, I sit on my locker and it was like a spirit came to me. He said, you remember when you say, hey man, you get me out of this, you get me out of this, I promise you I'm gonna do right. And I got you out and I was like, hey, come holler at me. He was like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I get in some more stuff. Hey man, if you get me out of this, man, I promise you I ain't gonna do this no more. Hey, I got some, I got a message for you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, that last time, like man, if you get me out, I promise you, man, you know, I, I ain't gonna do this. You know what this, that message said to me? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm. See, it was meant for me to be there. Yeah, I was, I was, I was mad that I was there, but it saved me from a lot of things because I was crying about those three years when the next year all my homies they were all going fed. I mean, people that didn't have anything to do with the case, they were all going fed. So yeah. sometimes I had to realize I can complain about my life, but really, you know what I'm saying, I'm blessed. You know what I'm saying? I know that I'm being looked over. I'm making my mistakes, but I'm starting to correct them. Oh, I just got the purpose of this conversation we're having. So the mission, the mission is the things that we had to suffer from, that's the things that we need to be yelling from the top of our lungs and telling people around us and in the neighborhoods not to do it. Mm -hmm. So if we got locked up for selling drugs, we need to be bashing and shaming drug dealing to the whole community. If we got locked up for doing bodily harm, we need to be teaching, preaching, and, and, and telling them not to be using violence and showing them why. If we had a heart attack for eating wrong foods, that's why that's why that's, I talk about it so much. So all the things that is crippling us in our neighborhoods, crippling us in our communities, and crippling us spiritually, mentally, and emotionally, these are the things that this the only conversation that need to be on our mouth whenever mm -hmm. we open our mouths and speaking. We need to make all of that other shit that they glorify look like it's whack. Yeah. And we need to make positivity look like it's in. And I think if we get even just 100,000 brothers that look like where we come from mm -hmm. doing that. That'll change, uh, that'll do more damage, well, that'll do more good than any damage a rapper can do in the neighborhoods. Yeah. So that's what we need to do, man. Yeah. So everything, yeah. everything that got us in trouble, everything that got us sick, messing with your kidneys, everything that took your mama out, everything that almost took me out, got me locked up, them the things that we need to be preaching and teaching in the community not to do. And then while we taking these things from them, we just got to have something else to put in their hands and to give them to do. I just, I got a question. How do we become strong enough to put that message out instead of the message that they're forcing out here? Because, I mean, you know, I remember I used to say I could give, you know, a young guy some game on how to be smooth and how to do this. But those things are not going on. And, I, you know, it used to be about hustle, respect, coming up, money. Now I don't see the kids even wanting the money. They just want the fame. You know, I remember, like, a long time ago, like, it said, broke people just want to kill you for the fame. They don't yeah. want the money. So you got to treat, you got to teach them true education. You know, the reason why people out here lost is because we lacking knowledge. So if you give knowledge to the people, 
that will guide them and, and, and steer them the right way. So what I would do is, you know, doing what you're doing now, going into the communities and the neighborhoods. From what I'm seeing and what I feel, you're a respectful person in the neighborhood. You get a lot of respect, especially if you just walk up on people and holler at them like you do. Obviously, they respect you. Yeah. Keep doing that. And then once you gather enough people, you know, have you and your people doing that same thing and then start getting on these b bigger platforms. You know, these platforms to me is like uh, killing two birds with one stone mm -hmm. because you reach a large audience of people, you know, and you spitting this message. So it's doing what we doing just on a bigger scale, man. Never stop speaking, never stop talking. Tell 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 the deaf, tell your deaf and always be the example of what you teaching. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, I recently just got back in the gym. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I needed to be I needed to practice what I teach. I looked at me, I looked down at me. I'm like, "Dang, okay, you vegan." You eating healthy, but you know your your metabolism slower than others. <laughs> you you should already short. You looking too round to be teaching people not to eat meat. You know what I'm saying? Get your ass in the gym. That's real. Like you have to look like what you teaching. We got to practice what you teaching. So I think that's what we just need to do. We need to be the light, be the example, and never shut up. Constantly yell to the rooftop. You know, let my people go. Show them freedom and, and be that example. We have to be the light in the communities. And then these platforms is like very very major for doing that so i think what you're doing is major brother straight up you just gotta keep doing it i'm gonna tell y'all people though they gonna make you want to give up they're gonna make you want to kick their ass they're gonna have you depressed sometimes they're gonna make you feel like you're doing all of this for nothing dang is my people listening do they really get it and then it'd be people like what you just did coming in here out of the blue don't know you from a can of paint and saying dang this is what you did to my life mm -hmm. listening to that sister over there this is what you did to my life this is motivating me to keep going you know what i'm saying i posted a, a picture today uh of me and dame dash online like 60 people it was like i see your body changing y'all key you looking like the all right like i'm here i don't give a fuck if i get to the crib before i'm going to the gym <laughs> you know what i'm saying so like these are things that keep us keep us going. So, man, I, I appreciate this conversation. I think this conversation was more for me than for you, brother. Man, you up. just don't believe how much. Yeah. <laughs> you know what happened? Let me tell you what happened, right? So, uh, I met a friend of his in Publix, put him on the FaceTime, and had her in a TV show. He came through. I was like, dang, he's like, seemed like a real dude. And what I always want is the perspective of somebody from where I'm at to speak from their voice, but from a thorough voice, a logical voice. You know, I haven't been on the concrete in about, shit, I'm 52 since I was 19. I remember it well, but I don't know what's going on right now. So it's good to hear the perspective of someone with a, with a, with a good sense of logic that's going through some shit, still surviving. And he got his whole nigga swag on, I fuck with it. <laughs> And we, I didn't expect to find that in Florida. So what I like to do is provide a new experience. This is America New. And y you're providing a new healthy experience. So you challenged me to make sure that you had a different experience than you've ever had before in your life. A positive one, one that would help you in any way because you're helping us. It should be a fair exchange. So hopefully, I know you helped us and a lot of people in the room today. You know, and hopefully we could reciprocate and help I, I you. I most definitely reciprocated it. I appreciate that. Yeah. And this was better than I thought. This was dope. Big shout to Prophecy in Space. That's awesome. That's awesome. They made this happen. Yeah. Thanks for coming through. And again, you showed me the proper respect. You came to my hometown. I'm coming to yours on the 26th with you. You're going to jam out. You're going to do your album. Do They'll do their album. And, uh, you know, whoever wants to pull up that's here, six hours away, let's do it. Let's do it. Anything else you want to say, let me know, but I appreciate you, bro. And when generals get together, especially generals that's about getting some bread and helping, if they can't figure out how to make more money and make more education and make whatever they're doing bigger, then they're not generals. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Period. Anything you want to say? Man, I just want to tell them thank you, man. Thank you, Dane, for giving me the platform. That's right, yeah. Oh. You know, I just wanted to say thank you, Dane, for giving me a chance to, you know, speak my truth because all I'm telling is the truth. Um, all I can offer is me. And, you know, with guys like y'all that I looked up to and really want to put myself and have the same respect that you guys did from you with your knowledge, from you just taking no, for, not taking no for an answer, just standing up for what you believe in, for your people. See, a lot of people didn't see back then what you were doing. You weren't doing it for the money. You were doing it like you say, so my people don't get bullied. You're not doing it for the money. 
you're doing it so my people don't fall victim to all that. So that's why I thank y'all guys, because without y'all, this probably wouldn't have never even started with me. That core still exists. All I want to do is recognize it and bring us all together, give us all a platform. Thanks again. I appreciate it.